so the oblique view. Uh, for our customers, they have to inspect numbers of different items, um, keep their trains healthy. Uh, it takes a lot of man hours to do manually, so we build machine vision systems that do it for them. Either gives them pictures so they don't have to be there physically, or takes the pictures and runs it through an algorithm and finds the stuff for them. And it inspects the parts without them even being in the loop and just tells them when there's a problem. The main objective, what they wanted us to find out was something called the F-pin. There's multiple variants on different types of trains, but it's a very difficult uh, pin uh, that is attached to the coupler and it's very difficult to see. We ended up having to design that ourselves in-house from scratch. Uh, whenever we were practically ready to do the final stage of our design. So our team mobilized. We integrated in, in a way where we were able to communicate multiple times a day with all of the relevant SMEs on hand at all times so that there was no time wasted. We had enough time to do multiple iterations make sure we got rid of the stuff that didn't work, select the stuff that did work, and everybody was active and present so that nothing was missed. Some key leaders stood up. We had some engineers that, you know, actually started from scratch. They took whiteboard lessons learned and they just started documenting. So it's very difficult to inspect. You have to actually crawl underneath and look at specific things from different angles, which is an awkward position to be in. So we put cameras in that awkward position so that the people don't have to be. So one, there's many safety issues and concerns about people getting down and bending down and so forth. And it's also very difficult to see this. So what we have been able to do is develop a new oblique view that is underneath the train looking at different areas. We had to put multiple pose angles so different cameras under the train to see all the different things that the customer wants to see, uh, which meant we had a very small space, very tiny volume to put cameras that aren't big, but lamps that are gigantic compared to the volume. And these lamps, when they all turn on, are roughly twice as bright as, as the sun. We have a total of 10 cameras. These 10 cameras are dedicated towards certain aspects that the customers asked us to look at for certain safety concerns or issues that they want us to look at specific targets. Through a lot of trial and error and calculations and analysis, we figured, okay, these are what we are going to build. Now, compared to what we've done in the past and compared to the view, which sits on the tracks and looks straight up instead of at different angles, we tried to solve a problem that we've had for a while. So what we did was we built an illumination system that surrounds the camera. So it puts light on all sides of it. And we keep the illuminators very close to the camera's lens so that there's almost no shadow in the images that are acquired. We did a pretty amazing job in a short amount of time to produce a system that I think our customers really gonna like. As of today, our system is in production. It is live. It is capturing all of the images into the detailed images that our customer needs. The team that put that oblique view together is it's a pretty special group. They, uh, they worked very long hours under a lot of pressure, doing things that were at many times beyond the state of the art. So we had to figure out where we could cut short and still make it work. And sometimes with solutions that, you know, we, we, didn't, know, we didn't know how to solve the problems. There, there was no solution that existed and the amount of creativity that came out of a, a very highly technical group of people was it's a pretty impressive thing to watch you know whenever you see a whenever you see a street artist make a really cool painting that's impressive but that's what he does when you see a bunch of technical guys doing math and engineering and science be as creative that as that street artist with their craft that's cool, that's real cool. And it's, it's something proud, you can be proud to be part of, and it's proud to be associated with anywhere in this company. It's uh, really cool.